So first off, I'm going to be showing her BTS's Fake Love, which was one of the hits earlier this year. It was absolutely huge, broke loads of records, uh, was tre trending in, in the UK and the US. The album that it was on was one of the first, well, was the first ever K-pop album to hit number one in the US. So this is the music video for Fake Love. I, I hope you enjoy. I, I do quite like this song, so if you say anything negative about it, I'm going to hate you forever. Right. I'll try to like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Allons-y! Oh god. You gonna play it like down there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's. I edited it in. <coughs> oh, he's cute. <laughs> They're all cute. <laughs> it's very motivating. It's, it's a crazy music video, actually. I always think the music videos are better than the song. Really? Ah. I tend not actually, to no, care too this, much about the music video. This song's quite good. But it sounds quite mainstream. Quite a bit. It certainly appeals to a demographic, doesn't it? This was described as emo rap. It's got a bit of rap, yeah. Yeah, mixed with, you know, sort of electronic and pop sounds. I like it. Try to sit up in the frame a bit more. <laughs> I'm like this. Yeah. <laughs> He's so hot. Yeah, Jen. He is unbelievable. Worldwide handsome. Most of them are though. Yeah. I would I would listen to this. Yeah. In fact I might. There, there's a rock version of this, which utilizes more rock sounds and instrumental and it's absolutely fantastic. So it's even heavier and more aggressive. Are they saying freaky love? Fake love. Oh. So the track is about um, experiencing that fake love where you're you're only in it for the relationship and you're not actually feeling an emotional connection with someone. You to be this song is written from the perspective that he is in love with her but she doesn't return it, so it's fake yeah. love. I like how the chorus is really different to the rest of the song. Yes. Yeah, the the, the The chorus actually completely contrasts all the rap parts. You can actually dance to this song. Mm. Oh, I love stickers. That's actually such an important bit of imagery because um, all their music videos are kind of connected. Mm -hmm. And the Snickers for, for the character that was lying on them represents sort of um, his mother leaving him as a child. Why Snickers? Snickers because that's what he had, was given at the time. Oh. So it keeps on reoccurring in music yeah. videos. I rate that. It's not even over yet. Okay. There's, there's all sorts of crazy pop imagery in this music video. It's one, one of my favourite ones that they've ever done. Sorry, I, I just yawned. That's fine. <laughs> no disrespect, I'm just tired. Well, if you listen to this song on Spotify, you wouldn't get this part, would you? No. This is more part no, of the music video. This is the music video, yeah. But I think some, some of the shots are absolutely stunning. Oh, yeah, the, the music videos are a lot better than anything you get in, like... Oh, yeah. They put so much more effort into it. In the US or, or the UK. Hmm. I love the camera work in some of these shots as well. The way it's manoeuvred, the way it's edited, it's just fantastic. And the dance is really an important part of... Oh yeah. It's, 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 it's almost equal with the actual song itself, the choreography. 
terms of like recognizability. In fact, I think the US and the UK make the worst music videos. Yes, they France, don't. Well, they don't care about French it. French music videos are really good. Yeah. I just feel like if you want to get views, you have to you have to make it good. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. What's salsa? Oh, it's a it's a Korean word. <laughs> it's not actually salsa. I think it's sun, sun, salsa. Salsa. Is it done? That's 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 the ending. Um, so as you saw in, in the actual music video, there's so much imagery. I don't get most of it. Um, so I don't expect you to get much from it, but visually, did you did you appreciate the shots? Yeah. And uh, did, did it make you feel It was something? visually pleasing, aesthetically pleasing. Aesthetically pleasing. Yes. <laughs> and, and the track, was there any particular bits that you would highlight? I like but I like the chorus and I like the, I thought they went well together. And for me, like the songs that are just the chorus, yeah. and you can only hear the chorus. And it, that's the catch. And it's repetitive. It's, yeah. No, th that song was good. It's a, the chorus was a bit sounded a bit like mainstream, a bit one of those catchy songs, yeah. you know. But that's what gets people's mm. attention. So. Yeah, and it it also hit really hard that chorus with those vocals are really punchy. Um, yeah. Would you give this like a rating out of ten? What would you say out of ten? I would say, having listened to that other song, I'd give it eight point five out of ten. 8 .5. My favorite one's still that uh, dope. Yeah, hey, BTS hey, dope. And gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. I love that one. Yeah. All right. Well, that that was uh, BTS. I'm sure you've probably actually heard it in the background in my room when I've played it before. Um, but that whole album was so incredibly well received. You know, it was getting eight out of ten, nine out of ten from mainstream American and British publications as a rating, and the tracks went hugely, hugely popular. Fake Love has been yeah. playing around the world. It's even been playing at the World Cup in Russia, which is absolutely crazy. Um, but yeah, B BTS are becoming a worldwide phenomenon now. Yeah, they're but, uh, huge. Absolutely they're huge. huge. You, you hear about them all the time now.